Hello everybody. We have a Train XL20i. It's a communicating system. <clears throat> it has the T-Connect 900 thermostat, which is basically a Honeywell thermostat with a train badge. We're getting an error code of 79, which usually indicates that the low pressure switch is open and it's in hard lockout. But I've reset the system by killing the power to the furnace and killing the power to the condenser. It's in time delay. So I'm gonna get my little stub gauge on here real quick and see uh, just how low this thing is, or if it is low, because sometimes they will throw a code like that from a power surge or something. Uh, I've seen it since I've been here, but 79 usually indicates low Freon. All right, guys, just our condenser motor's running right now. It was running, but this the 20Is have two compressors. Now, not, that's the XL 20Is, not the XVs. Those are variable, but this is a 20I XL. It's got two compressors, so what it does is when it's getting ready to kick in the high stage, the, low, the, the smaller compressor shuts down, and here in a minute we will hear the, the bigger compressor of the two uh, fire up. And then that'll give us a, because I've got the thermostat pegged down really low, and that'll tell us if we're low on charge or not. Uh, low stage did not run long at all. There, and there it is, there's the high stage compressor. And you can see the outdoor fan motor is speeding, has uh, sped up to high stage as well. I've got my gauge on there. We're gonna let it run, see uh, it, you know, if it drops down and if we have a low refrigerant issue. All right guys, here's our coil and our furnace all behind some walls. This wall was made to remove, this one wasn't. The customer had to tear his sheetrock up for me to access the coil. I found no leaks. Um, no leaks in the coil. What a pain though, man. The train door had a screw right behind here. So I had to come over here and I had to drop the induced draft motor to get that screw out and then put it back together. It's ridiculous. That was that screw should have been removed before they installed, but you know it is what it is. So there's no leaks here. Like I said, the pressure is not that bad. It's it's cold outside, but we're gonna go back outside and check over things again. Okay, so I found out that when this system was put in, all this was an open attic. And they decided to close this part of it up and use it as a room. So all this used to be open, which makes better sense now. But I did tell him that if we ever have to take the coil out, these two would have to go. We could still change blow motors and stuff like that. Um, no leaks come up in the coil at all. So we're gonna go outside and uh, I'm gonna check some of the obvious spots for leaks out there, but I really don't think we have any leaks. I think it threw this code for, I don't, I don't know why, but we're gonna go double check everything. All right guys, we're back outside. It's running in high stage. We're running 110 pounds of suction. And I know the stub gauge, you know, that's, that's just for a quick check. But I have no reason to suspect that this thing is low because it's like 68 degrees in the house. We're running 110 pounds of suction. I can't find no leaks in the evaporator and none. I took this off. I checked all the obvious spots out here. I, I find no leaks. You know, I've seen these units throw codes before. Not just this one, throw different ones. And you, you reset them and it never happens again. At this point, the only thing I can do is advise the customer to call us back if it happens again. But at this point, uh, I'm not able to find any leaks at all. So, I, I don't know where to go from here. I mean, I feel like I did everything that I was supposed to do. You know, leak checked everything. Uh, I mean, we're not running low pressure. I've been, I'm going to sit here with it for a little while longer and see, but uh, 
uh, everything looks good. All right, guys, what you're seeing here is the same clip that I showed you before. You know, I just wanted to add, and you can see there the suction pressure is not low. It was very cool outside, probably in the 50s. It was only like 68 degrees in the house. I went over everything in this system. Sometimes these communicating systems will do this. They're very sensitive. About two weeks prior to this one, I had an inverter throw a code that it was low on charge. I went out and did the exact same thing I did on this one. I checked everything and couldn't find anything. Reset the system, got it back up and running. Our girls do follow-ups. I asked about the system the other day in our meeting. They said the woman said it was working fine, that whatever I came out and did solved the issue. So just, I wanted to clear that up before somebody says this or that or another. I checked over everything, went through the whole system with the leak detector and found nothing. The customer did state that she, her lights blink on and off all the time. Sometimes that'll do it. Like I said, these communicating systems can be sensitive. Guys, thank you all for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.